welcome back um, to my channel. Um, today, I finally will talk about the last step of your skincare routine. Um, so in the previous two videos, I've talked about uh, the difference between skin type, skin condition, um, and the steps of your, the most basic step of your skincare routine, which is your cleansing, toning, treatments, and your moisturizing. Um, finally, finally, <laughs> and today I will talk all about sun protection, so sunscreen. Um, growing up in, I was born and raised in Jakarta um, for most of my life. Um, I remember distinctively every time I had, like if there's a new cousin, even my younger brother when he was born, uh, a lot of parents would take their baby out to the sun in the morning just to make sure they get all that good vitamin D, right? Um, and then and, but then as you grow up, right, they were like, oh, don't stay out in the sun. You don't want to get tan. Uh, you don't want to get dark skin. And I naturally, I do have like a, I, I, I love to go outdoor. That's just, that's just me. I would go out to like in front of my house and I would just like ride a bike, play badminton, or I don't know, whatever. I would just stay outside. Um, and and I just naturally get, you know, darker, right? And, you know, when I moved to Australia, when I moved to Melbourne, and I stay here for a while, and then there's obviously winter month and whatnot, the first time I went back to Jakarta, <laughs> I remember the first thing my like family like my aunties my uncles they the first thing they say like, oh my god you have gotten so light your skin is like so much lighter and i'm like okay <laughs> apparently it's a good thing um but i think obviously i grew up with that in my mind and um and then living in melbourne a lot uh, the moment there is a sun comes out whether it's winter like even if it's still cold the moment there is sun the like the girls in my school would stay outside in the sun and they would just lay down and they would just like pull up their like skirt and be like tan me son <laughs> and you know and i think and i just found that very ironic and funny because you know i come from a country or a lot of asian countries i'm sure can relate where they're like oh don't don't you know don't stay in the sun don't get tan and then i go to australia and everyone's like let's get tan <laughs> um and when you're tan you are healthier uh, well that's the idea anyway um and so i was kind of like i've always have this really kind of funny relationship with sun protection so um anyway as i grow older obviously i learned more about the damage that the sun can cause to your skin um, and especially in Australia with the ozone layer are apparently a little bit thinner here down under so the sun effect can be a lot harsher um, and a lot of people I hope a lot of people know this about the sun the danger of the sun is actually the exposure to the UVAs and the UVBs um, and a lot of people kind of like what is UVA or UVB and I'm sure I, I, I hope that y'all know the difference between UVA and UVB and what they do to your skin and the good thing about it but a lot of people are you know are not aware and which is quite scary actually so um, with UVA and UVB rays um, not only it you know it damages your skin cells and a lot of people like oh yeah you can it can cause skin cancer la di da but yes that skin cancer is definitely the biggest concern uh, but also because it damages your skin cells it can mutate into skin cancer but it also can cause you premature aging as well um, and I think it's good to know a little bit more about UVB and U UVA and UVB so you know exactly how to protect yourself from it um, in terms of UVB rays um, it actually induces hyper pigmentation so what it does if uh, the long pro unprotected exposure to uvb actually cause your superficial it burns your superficial layers of your skin um so it does play a key role in the development of skin cancer uh, but of course uh, on like 
regular skin it will just sort of burn and then it'll just turn brown and that's what UVB does so you can see the effect of UVB on your skin when you like stay out in the sun for too long unprotected and you get burned um, and so with UVA it's a little bit scarier UVA actually penetrates deeper into your skin layers and actually stimulate production of free radicals which cause indirect damages like premature skin aging um, wrink wrinkles and photo aging so your skin just looks older and um, suppression of immune system as well so I think I'm pretty sure a lot of people hopefully uh, have seen a video uh, like a photo of a truck driver um, obviously when you are a truck driver going to like a destination um, you drive for a prolonged period of time and only one side of your body is exposed to sunlight um, and you can see the difference between his like the ones that's not exposed to the sun and the one that is exposed to the sun is a lot more like damage a lot more wrinkly a lot it just looks older and i think that's like that's like the extreme example right but that's pretty scary as well um to actually see it like side by side of each other um so how do you then protect yourself um from you know prolonged sun exposure obviously sunscreen is definitely a really good steps but again with sunscreen there is like spf 20 30 50 there is like pa plus 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 broad spectrum what does that all mean um so basically with your spf whether it's spf 20 30 or spf 50 um what it's telling you as a consumer when you look at a con like a sunscreen bottle when it's at spf 20 30 50 it measures how the times that how long can this sunscreen protect your skin from UVB? So whether it's 20 times longer, 30 times longer, 50 times longer. Um, even though it says 20 times longer, 30 times, 50 times longer, it is highly recommended that you do reapply your sunscreen um, every four hours or two hours if you're standing outside in the sun. Um, so that's what your SPF 20 30 50 means so that's the one that protects tells you how long does your sunscreen protects you from uvb your pa plus 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 symbol so there's pa plus pa plus plus there's like three pluses four pluses is the most recent one usually the most common is three pa three pluses so what the pa plus 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 this is like a bit of a tongue twister, but what's a PA++ means, it actually um, is telling you how does this sunscreen best protect your skin from UVA. The idea is, obviously there is no proper sort of measurement, but the idea is the more pluses, the better. And like I said, the most common is three pluses, but recently in Japan, they've come up with four pluses, uh, which means that, that that helps, that protects your skin a lot better uh, from UVA compared to like one, two, three pluses. Anyway, whew, that's a long <laughs> mouthful. Um, the easiest one to look out for when you are buying your sunscreen is actually to just look at the one that say broad spectrum. When it says that it's broad spectrum sun protection, it helps to protect your skin from both UVA and UVB. Um, I think it could be down to uh, different countries' rules and regulation in terms of what you need to display and what you need to say on the packaging as well. But there is like brands that just say, oh, sun protection, like broad spectrum sunscreen, which but it doesn't say any like, PA plus or anything like that but broad spectrum basically means that it offers protection for both UVA and UVB as well um okay let's let's look at some example right so for the longest time I am not necessarily the biggest fan of sunscreen because of the texture and the smell I hate the smell of sunscreen um especially the one that smells like zinc oh I don't know I just I, I can't 
I just hate it and I hate to put it on my body let alone putting it on my face but obviously with technology and the amazingness of innovation in the beauty industry um, a lot of brands have started coming out with sunscreen that does not smell or feel like sunscreen or like the old traditional sunscreen <laughs> um, so the first one that I actually try would be the Japanese brand, uh, which is the bio, the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Gel SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. Okay, can you see this? Okay, look at oh, this one. PA plus 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 plus. So there's four pluses. So, um, it doesn't say broad spectrum, but it tells me uh, that it does protect from UVB and UVA because of SPF 50 that protects you from UVB. And the PA++++ plus 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 protects me from the UVA. So these ones are literally like a water texture. It's literally runny like water. Uh, it's milk uh, in color. Um, it does not... It still... Um, it smells more like a, like a citrus scent rather than like that zinc scent. So I didn't mind it. I didn't, I didn't hate it. So I just kind of went like, yeah, I'm going to go with this. Um, so this is the first one that I try in terms of sunscreen that I'm like, oh yes, it's not, it, I don't hate it. I don't hate the smell. I don't hate the texture. It doesn't make me feel like I can't wear my makeup with it. And as an oily skin person, the fact that this is like a watery gel texture, it helps a lot because my makeup is not like slipping and sliding everywhere. So that's a good one. And then of course, going to Korea, I found Misha Sun Milk Essence Sun Milk. There we go. So this one is SPF 50 plus PA 3 pluses. So with uh, this one with the Misha, it's almost a very similar texture to the Biore one. Um, it's very watery. It doesn't, but I think personally, in my opinion, I prefer the scent of the Misha a little bit more than the Biore just because it's not it's this one's still a little bit more like a, a citrusy this one's just kind of like a really nice fresh scent I, anyway i just like this scent better but the texture wise is quite the same um so yeah so that in terms of like innovation i feel like japanese and korean skincare brands they've come up with like this first which i think is really brilliant um and then um i've also uh recently uses or try out this one which is the COSRX um, Alloy Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50 plus PA++++ So with this one, um, it's a little bit thicker than the other two which I still don't mind because even though it's a little bit thicker and a bit creamier it's not, it's not the same as old traditional sunscreen texture so I didn't mind it and the scent is actually not bad at all um, actually it's not it doesn't have any scent which is probably really good for your skin because it doesn't have any fragrance or anything in there um so again this helps to protect both from uva and uvb so if you like a, a little bit heavier texture so if you're more on the drier skin side you want a heavier texture this one's a really good one and also really really super affordable i'm pretty sure this is like eight dollars or something so yeah um, and then uh the other one that is like a homegrown one that I'm really like, yeah, like I really am very happy that um, Australia come up with this. It's about time because we're all about skin and sun protection here down under. So this one is ultraviolet. So ultraviolet it says SPF 50 plus, but it doesn't it doesn't have any PA ratings, but it says UVA and UVB broad spectrum. So this is the Queen Screen Lightweight uh, uh, Sunscreen. So this one comes in like a little pipette and that you just drop in, a uh, very watery texture. Um, it has like kind of like a rose water scent, which is very light, it's not overpowering or anything. So these ones has been brilliant. I recommend it to a lot of my friends and they've loved it. Um, this one's really good. It's locally made. It's like Melbourne made. Uh, I mean Australian brand, which I always want to support. 
Um, so this one's another good texture if you like that really light, watery, milky texture. That one. Um, and then recently, actually, no, last year, when I went to Singapore, um, I found this brand um, in Sephora. So this one's a little bit more unique. I feel that uh, with this uh, other one, um, they feel very sort of like their sunscreen, you know, you can put your makeup after and it just start to absorb really quickly on your skin. This one is one by Super Goop. Okay, and this is called the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. So water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes and PA 3 pluses. So this one is a little bit different. So it is... Can you see? I'm hoping you can see so. Oh, you see, so it's see-through kind of like gel texture. And when I apply it, when I put it on, it actually has that slippage, which feels like, in my opinion, I think it has like a, maybe like a silicone base something or, or rather underneath it. So it's very like smoothing vest uh, texture. Because of that, I actually really enjoy using it under makeup because it feels that it feels like so much like a primer rather than a sunscreen. Uh, it doesn't have any scent that's like, you know, it doesn't have any scent that sort of bothers me. Um, but again, this one's like a really, really light texture. Um, I think because I have an oily skin, I didn't mind that. Um, the sort of the silicone slippage feeling because it helps to really just mattify my skin um, but yeah so this one's also a really good I do recommend it if you have like a more oily skin as well and um, the last one which is like I think this this one's a really good one for your touch up uh, throughout the day it's not a spray on because I know there's a few um, brands that has a spray on sunscreen which I think it's really brilliant um, because you can it's like a touch up over your make it's not gonna ruin your makeup if you kind of like you don't have to do this you just kind of spray and it protects your skin um, but these ones actually I picked up in Korea so this one is from a brand called AC well um, it's a dermal airy sun control stick SPF 50 PA 4 pluses. This is a sun protection stick. So it looks like literally, it looks like a deodorant. So you just put it on your skin like that. And um, what normally, what I would normally do is I would like swipe it like um, here, there, and then just kind of like uh, apply it with my hand like that. And it actually has like um, kind of like a mattifying feel to it as well but it's not like silicone or slippery like the super good one but it does have this mattifying feel and I think this is like really handy when you are going out with no makeup on because you can just like touch up by just like literally it's super handy just kind of roll it on all over your face it's super interesting for me this kind of like product so I really enjoy it uh, and I do use it quite often when I'm not wearing any makeup so as you can tell from my collection uh, there is so many different ah! oops uh, there's so many different skin shop ah, let me see if I can get it I got it <laughs> so there's so many different type of like sunscreen right so um I mean, you can choose what texture you prefer, um, but sunscreen nowadays are nothing like the olden days, so it's a lot more easier to use because it doesn't have the scent and the feel of sunscreen. So these are the products that I use and I do recommend. Um, if you have any other recommendation, let me know. But that's basically it. That's that's the end of my skincare routine series where I've talked about all the different steps in your skincare routine. I'm hoping that it's simple enough for everyone to kind of learn something from it and understand like the importance of each steps in your routine. Um, to really sum up all these videos, 
Um, I really think the best thing for anyone if you want an effective skincare routine is to definitely get to know your skin. There's no way around it. Um, and the easiest way to build like your morning and your night routine, usually you put all your good products in your night routine. So all your acid serum, um, any of the goodies that would help you to repair your skin while you sleep, you put it at night. During the day, you just want all products that will protect your skin, whether it's your sunscreen or even vitamin C, which is a really good antioxidant. So you put that during the day. But in terms of the step, you've got your cleansing, your toning, your treatments, and your moisturizing and during the day your sun protection um, it's the most basic routine in my opinion um, there's no need to complicate stuff you find routine that works for you you find routine that works with your schedule as well obviously if you're a mom of three and you're pressed for time there is no way you would have the time to do 15 steps skincare routine. You just got to cut it down to what's important. That's why it's important to what is the skin condition I want to address? What issues that I want to address on my skin? Do I need anti-aging or do I not need anti-aging? So, and then you can then break down really what you need. Um, but if you're a single gal <laughs> who has all the time in the world, if you want to do your 10, 15, 20 step skincare routine, by all means, do it. Take your time to really, you know, get to know your skin and create this routine for yourself. But at the end of the day, for me, not only your skin is the largest organ in your body, it's the first thing that anyone sees when they first met you it's kind of like your first impression is your skin um so i think it's quite important to take care of it not for what other people think but it's more for yourself i think if you have a good skin you have that confidence in yourself but also if you take care of yourself uh, in a way that you know you take the time to clean your face and do all your skincare routine steps I think it's the highest form of self-love is to take care of yourself in that way. Um, whether it's finding five minutes or 10 minutes pocket of times in your daily life to really just sit down and have that as your me time to, you know, put on your, you know, skincare before you go to bed or in the morning. That's your me time. That's your self-love time. And I'm all about it. So um, whatever it is that you do, I hope that you find something that's suitable for you. Um, if you have any questions, if I can help in any way, make sure to leave a comment. I will definitely respond and answer. Um, and if you have any specific issues or concerns that you want me to discuss a little in like a more lengthy, further videos, let me know. Um, so I hope that everyone can learn a little bit from these sort of small videos um, about skincare routine. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.